Welcome to another edition of You Can Make This. Tonight we're in an aquarium. Because tonight is seafood night. Come with us and let's see what Stacy is doing tonight in the seafood kitchen. Hi, Stacy. Hi. What have you got for us tonight? Pa pan seared halibut with roasted fingerling potatoes. What? Pan seared halibut with roasted fingerling potatoes. I wasn't going to repeat everything she said in this one, but. <laughs> Pan seared halibut and fingerling potatoes. <laughs> Roasted fingerling potatoes, right? Yes. Stick around. Okay, for the potato part, explain what you're doing with the fingerling potatoes. Can you explain what fingerling potatoes are first? They look like this. They look like little fingers. Wow, and I don't see any brown potatoes. What that's, what's that about? Um, I don't know. They don't. They just don't. They're like this. That's a blue one. What else this you got? This is a blue one. And this is like a, you could get a red potato like this that's okay. white inside. This is probably like a white sweet potato. And and what's the... And this the, is probably like a butter potato. And what are these dark ones? Did they go bad or something? No, that's a purple potato. A purple potato? Yes. The latest thing in yeah. potatoes. All right, so you have these fingerling potatoes. Now we're going to peel them, right? No. Or we're going to slice them? No. We're going to mash them? No. Nope. What are we doing with them? I'm going to put them in this bag. What kind of bag is that? Ziploc. A Ziploc bag. Go on. I'm going to put them in here. Go ahead. In go the potatoes. <laughs> She's putting these potatoes in a plastic Ziploc bag. Now you're going to cook the potatoes in this plastic bag? No. Uh, no, I'm just using this to mix them. This one's a little little, but I'll take it'll be it. All right. And then I'm gonna now pour, what? I'm gonna pour this on it. It's onion Lipton onion soup mix with oil. Lipton onion soup mix in some oil. How much oil? A third cup. A third of a cup of Lipton of oil going into Lipton soup mix, onion flavored, and then all that goes into this Ziploc bag yes. with the potatoes. She didn't cut them, she didn't mash them, she didn't grate them, she didn't do a darn thing. And then what happens? Make sure you close it. Closing the Ziploc bag. Ooh, that's and like shake and bake. Hat, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I hepped. Go ahead. <laughs> All right, now you're gonna mix them, and then that whole thing goes in the oven, right? Yes. Bag and all. No, not the bag. So what have you done to this pan to prepare for this? I like this. It's um, a parchment lined foil. I like it better than the non-stick or a, uh, th there's a non-stick tin foil that I used to like to use, but this, the food doesn't quite, Burn so this is like a parchment on one side, yeah. foil on the other. So that it doesn't stick to the pan. Won't it's stick to the pan, to easier to clean, and it cooks better. Yes. Look at this. In it they cooks go. better than that tin foil. I like the non-stick tin foil, but I like this, I think, better. All right, look at this. So the potatoes have been coated in this Lipton onion soup. They're going to roast in an oven. What did you set that oven for? 425. 425 oven, how long? 35 minutes? 35 minutes. That's a South Plainfield accent for 35, <laughs> 35 minutes. Okay. I told you, the reluctant TV star here. <laughs> she didn't want to make this movie either. Okay. <laughs> but look, wait, can we see what that looks like first? Mm, delish. Delish. My friend Steve the Magician is going to enjoy these. I can tell he's a potato guy and a connoisseur. We go to a diner and he throws the whole diner into... Um, a frenzy because he asked for the home fries done a certain way. I think he's gonna enjoy these. These I hope look good. This look at the little one will be okay. <laughs> he may not make it. <laughs> Stick around. I want them all to 35 minutes in a 400 oven. 400? 
425. 425. It's on the box. Get the Lipton soup mix and it's on the This box. recipe's on the Lipton box? Yeah. Go to Lipton.com. What are we wasting our time for? Stick around for the fish. What are you doing now? I'm going to stir them. Explain. Because it's been in for almost half the time. It's been in for half the time. She's going to open up and give it a stir. Oh, listen, listen. Oh. See, that onion soup has been cooking and marinating. And what else is it doing? Seasoning. And seasoning. A lot of salt. A lot of salt because it's Lipton soup. It's a... Uh, Instant soup, a lot of salt in there. So we're seasoning the potatoes and then just going to stir halfway through the 35 minutes, right? Yeah, I just want to see how they're doing. How do they look? Good. They All may right. need more time than 35 minutes. They may need more time than 35 minutes. That's because you didn't slice them there just all together, yes. right? All right. We'll call you back when this thing rings. We will call you back and we'll see what's going on and we'll pull them out. Yes. And then we'll start the fish. Yes. Right? Yes. Okay. Finally, it is time for the fish. Okay, Stacy, I'm coming in. She hates this. Tell me what you've got here. We're doing the halibut right. now. Look at this. Be careful of the pan, because I have the oven on. I'm not the oven, the stove on. The pan is heating up, and here is the halibut. What are you doing? I'm gonna skin it. What have you done? You've purchased, what have you purchased? These are... Oh, this is my... This is like a, I don't know what it's really called. It's like a halibut steak. You bought halibut. Yeah. It has skin on but one side. But this is like, it's not a, it's it's a good knife to skin with because. Why are we taking the skin off? Because you don't like it. Ah, uh -huh. fair enough. And you have to. She has a very sharp knife. Yes. And she is taking the skin off for me to reveal a beautiful, throw that out, and show me, oh, look at that. I also Ooh. try to even it out a little bit. That is a beautiful piece of halibut. All right, St wh what would be the, why would you keep the skin on? Some people like it. They like the crispy skin. You don't. I, I have, it's, it's I have a problem, preference. I have a problem with like the scaly, yeah. skinny, slimy, gray. Some people like I it. like, look at this. What do you like better? And I, I don't Tell like the skin. I'm not, I'm not asking you. I'm asking them. Oh. Look, look. We have beautiful white, right, fish meat, and then there's this. Wait, hold it. Just relax. Just take it off. Or there's this. Would you eat that? You see, I'm not eating that. But look at that. It's a good substitute for salmon. This is a nice substitute for salmon, which reminds me, you can make this with salmon. If salmon's like too fishy for you and you want a white fish. This is a white fish. Could you do this with tilapia? Yes. Could you do this with octopus? Probably not. Could you do this with, oh, Chilean sea bass? You gotta make sure you know the thickness. Okay. Could you do this with like a goldfish? No. I think you can. I don't think you want to. Fish is fish. Okay. So, what are you going to do next? Wait, I'm not done yet. Mm hmm. Look at this. The masterful. She's like a sushi chef. You have to have a good knife for this. Don't let anyone tell you you don't. Yeah. Don't let anyone say, no, I do this with a terrible knife. Okay, what's next? No, it's true. Look at this. Next, I have to rinse my hands off. Okay, she's gonna rinse her hands off and then we're gonna call you back when they go in the pan. Are you gonna season this anyway or anything like Salt, that? Salt, pepper. Yes. Salt and pepper, right? Salt and pepper, that's, that's it. it. That's it, salt and pepper and then in the pan, I'll call you back, bye. All right, we're ready to put the fish in the pan. What have you done? We've got a pan, tell me what you've got ready here. A hot pan and olive oil. Did you put the, you, you put the fire under the pan first, correct? First, got it hot. Got the pan hot, threw the oil in. Cold oil in a hot pan. All right, we waited, see, you can just about, well, uh, and then it, it all right. Heats up. Okay, now, before we throw this in, 
What do we have to know? Put it in and then what? I look for it to like look like it's smoking a little bit. Okay, the oil you mean? Yes. And, and I can see it. It's starting to shimmer. Right. All right. Now when the when the fish goes in, how many minutes? At least five. Okay, five on a side. How do I know when the fish is ready to turn? You want it to look like the color of like a paper bag about a quarter of the way through. Quarter of the way through? Color of a paper bag. I'm thinking brown. Yeah. Okay, here we go. What kind of a utensil are you using for that? Oh, she's using the hands. Mano a mano. That's this one. Is the thickest, I'm putting it in the middle. The thickest one? The thickest piece goes in the middle. That's because it's hot. It's under the flame in the center, right? Right? Yes. All right. Well, mine is that way anyway. Okay. And that's it. Okay. Call you back when it's time to flip, right? Right. Okay, potatoes look like they're done. Yes. What are you gonna do now? The fish isn't ready. I'm gonna keep them in the oven to stay warm. You're gonna shut the power off. Yep. Keep the potatoes are or done. I'm at least gonna keep them on warm. What's warm? It's like 250? Uh, no, it's like 100. Okay, if your oven goes to warm, put it on warm. I say. 250, she likes warm. No, don't listen to me. Warm. No. If you just you keep them in a hot cooking, it'll get dry. Okay. Don't listen to me. Take care of her. So what do we have here? We're at three minutes on this. Are these ready to turn yet? No, because look, it doesn't look like a paper bag. Alright. Doesn't look like a paper bag yet. Call you back. It's not ready to turn yet. How do I know it's not ready to turn well, yet? It's still cooking this way through. You can see it's kind of on. Um, it's it's not cooked through because you can see that white. Okay. It's not clear. When will I know it's ready to turn? When it looks like the color of the paper bag. <laughs> see, it's not ready yet. The timer set it, but it's not ready okay. yet. Okay. All right, we're ready to flip. Ready to flip? Everything yes. looks like a paper bag. Looks like a paper bag. These Go for it, baby. Have to go. Nice. That guy was a little rough. Because our oven is cooking. Lower the heat to medium. And another five minutes. Lower the heat to medium and another five minutes. This is gonna be good. All right, Drake still needs more time. More so time? Now, what I'm gonna do next, I'll tell you, is add, they need more time on that side, so I'm gonna add my basting oil from Wegmans. What is basting oil? If this is made with sunflower oil, garlic, and herbs. And oil. And it's meant to, yes. And it's like meant for high temperatures. And when you just drizzle, not a lot. So you can get this in supermarket or whatever. It's Wegmans. basing oil. You think? Okay. Well, Wegmans. Okay. And then they also have a finishing butter. I like lemon and dill. I like Wegmans. Which isn't too far away. Oops. And the finishing butter is just butter that's like been prepared. This one with lemon and dill, you can get garlic and parsley. You can get a cheese one, but cheese wouldn't be good with this. <laughs> okay, now how long? I'm going to give it another three minutes on this side. Another three minutes. Okay. Roll it around. Nice. 
It looks excellent. So you're basting it there. I did. I don't know if I should flip it over again. I would leave it just like that. But I want it to cook through to the middle. So I'm going to give it another three. Another three minutes. But I'm going to lower it a little bit. And lowering the heat. got to watch it. What are you doing now? I'm taking out the potatoes. They're taking out the potatoes. The potatoes have been resting in a warm oven. Uh, remember all the colors? You can hardly discern them now. No, you can still see them. Yeah, it. you can still see them, but... Give them a toss. Toss. They're ready to go. How's my little guy? Oh, did he make it? He made it. He made it. <laughs> okay, and now this is ready. You've done a fantastic job once again. All right, now it's a plate. Give it another. We are ready to plate. The potatoes are done. I'm getting the pick of the litter, the best piece, the middle one. Oh, look at this, here we go. Look at this. Oh, magnifique. Look at that. Perfectly cooked. Plus, I'm getting my fingerling potatoes. You got it. You got it. Good. That looks magnificent. Hang on, ready? Bring him to the light. Bring him to the light. Oh. Pan-seared halibut, fingerling potatoes. A la Stacy. <laughs> Comes to the table, looking good. Now, once again, Stacy is a reluctant TV star. Yeah. She doesn't like doing this on camera. It makes her nervous. She also hates that this range hood has some paint chipped off of oh, it. Oh. She hates that. I'm getting a new range hood this spring break, I promise. There, I've said it. So it is written, so it shall be done. Look at this. I am going to put this on a tripod now so you can get a glamour shot of this. Are you ready? Yes. There it is. Pan seared halibut. Whoops, hang on. Pan seared halibut and fingerling potatoes. How does that look? Can we see that? No, that is a terrible shot. Okay. Pan seared halibut and fingerling potatoes. You can make this. And like I said the last time, I don't know if you can make this. This was hard. What do you think, Stacy? Can you make this? Yes. Try it. You'll like it. And guess what again? If you can't figure it out from what we did, just Google pan-seared halibut and fingerling potatoes. And I'm also going to have my Wegmans horseradish sauce for my potatoes. This segment brought to you by Wegmans. <laughs> yes. Okay, when in Pennsylvania or Jersey, Try Wegman Supermarkets. That's where we got all of this from. Isn't it fabulous? You can make this. Thank you. Wait, come for the glamour shot. You can make Stacy's halibut, pan seared halibut, and fingerling potatoes. I'm gonna eat this up. Later. <laughs>